Welcome again. The IB Biology Exam 2017 is a matter of days away. It's that time for me to share some special tips for this year's examination. Before we go inside and take a look though, I want to take a special pause to give a very, very extra special shout out to all of my students preparing for the IB exam over in Shanghai at Shanghai American School, Hushi Campus. Very special. Good luck, best wishes, and rock on to all of you. But let's go inside and take a look at a few more tips for this year's examination. Let's remember that there are three papers or examinations to be taken. On Monday the 1st, you will be taking paper 1, which is 40 multiple choice questions for HL students over one hour and for SL 30 multiple choice questions over 45 minutes. Then you would move straight on to paper 2 where HL students will complete 2 hours and 15 minutes of work and you must answer all questions in section A and 2 from section B. For SL students you have one hour and 15 minutes, and you too would answer all questions in section A, but you must answer only one question in section B. Then after a night's rest, you return in the AM the next morning, Tuesday, May 2nd, to complete paper three. And it's especially important to note that paper three is not just about the options. And while people often refer to paper three as the option exam. It is very important to note that there is a mandatory section A in both the HL and the SL exam and this focuses very much on the content in the prescribed practicals or on some aspect of practical work. And then all of the questions that you answer on the option must be chosen from a single option. So as you prepare for these 2017 examinations it's important to note that only three previous exams have been released for this particular course by the IBO. They include the specimen exam, the May 2016 exam, and the November 2016 exam. A very quick and efficient way to prepare is to work just with the multiple choice papers, the 90 questions for SL and the 120 questions for HL, and to make notes on how you arrive at each answer and to think about similar questions that you can get on each topic. And then, of course, it's important to focus on the biology guide for first exams in 2016. And now you should click here and go to my tips from last year for an outline on how to use the biology guide.